Today I'm going to show you how to easily enhance your videos using Wondershare Filmora 10. So first thing you're going to want to do to enhance your videos is have a face like this. I <laughs> know, but what you're going to want to do is audio. Your audio is probably the most important thing when it comes to making videos. It is something that we all overlook, but it is by far the most important. People are going to be more forgiving for bad quality footage than they are bad audio. So make sure you get your audio dialed in. I want to show you quickly some ways that you can enhance your audio, some ways to make your audio a little bit better while you're talking. Now, I do want to preface this by saying, you know, if if you have a lot of music or a lot of people talking in the background, you're not going to be able to get rid of that. If you have strong wind or strong fan or light noise, then yes, 100% you'll be able to get rid of most of it. And you can do that using Wondershare Filmora 10. And I'll show you right now. So I have this footage up here of me introducing this video. This is like Inception right now. So I like to just detach my audio. So control alt D. I don't know why I just prefer to do that. So let's just give a listen to see what it sounds like right now. Today I'm going to show you how to easily enhance your videos using Wondershare Filmora 10. Now that's, that's a little tinny. I don't really care for it too much. So we'll double click on that and then it comes up with this. So you have your fade in, fade out pitch. So that's stuff you don't really need to worry about. We're just going to do equalizer and denoise. So denoise, if you have strong wind, actually I'll link a Wondershare Filmora tutorial where they really do a great job at a strong wind one and make it sound incredible. Check that video out if you want more in depth on this. I'm just going to show you a quick little rundown of this. So remove background noise. So you'll listen to it here. Today I'm going to show you how to easily enhance your videos using Wondershare Filmora 10. Now, not too bad. Now, I don't have a lot of background noise, but if I did, it would it would definitely get rid of that. So let's just listen to this. Today I'm going to show you how to easily enhance your videos using Wondershare Filmora 10. Now, that sounds terrible, but that's because I don't have a lot of background noise. And if you have a lot of wind, it's going to come out sounding like that. So what you do is you go up to customize and you customize your sound here. So you have your low range sounds, your mid range sounds, and then your high range sounds. So what you wanna do is I'll just set it up to how I think it should sound the way it should sound pretty decent anyways. Um, okay, and So let's uh, see what that sounds like right now. Today I'm going to show you how to ease. Let's turn the volume up to uh, just a little bit. We don't want it too much louder. Today I'm going to show you how to easily enhance your videos using Wondershare Filmora 10. I think that sounds okay for right now. I mean, I could go through and customize and tweak it a little more and bring some of these up maybe or down. And But what you want to do is make sure that it's like on a wave like this. That way it's not jumping in and out and... Um, it's a smoother transition to go up in those. So like I said, that's the quick and easy way to do it. I'll show you, uh, or I'll give you a link to the Wondershare Filmora one where they show you how to remove strong background noise. It's actually quite amazing. So the next thing that you can do to enhance your videos is either color correction or what people call color grading. There is a difference between color grading and color correction and I mean, for argument's sake, color correction is just basically when you're shooting in like S-log, N-log, C-log, or RAW, whatever it is, you get a kind of flat looking footage like this. And color correction is basically bringing the color back into it. So I will show you right now with this, there's a few ways that you can do it in Wondershare Filmora 10, and I like all the ways that they do it. So you just go to your palette, color correction, you come in here and you see all these presets here, right? Like these are presets that you can use if this is the feel that you're going with. Color correction now, you go to adjust. I like the adjust, you can go to auto. And I think that's a little bit overdone, to be honest, that's just my opinion. I think that is a little, little bit too much. So I'm just gonna get rid of that, reset all. And we'll go down to white balance and I'll Bring that up a little bit and then go to color 
and obviously I want the exposure up and the brightness up and we'll contrast that a little bit get some vibrance in there get some color into my skin and then we'll go to light bring up some of these highlights in here bring up some of the shadows and then turn down some of the whites so it's not too crazy and add a bit of blackness in there and that's that's okay I could probably brighten it up with the exposure a little bit more and I think that's pretty good I like that I mean to save time so if you want and this is like you have a bunch of footage that is the same kind of lighting and everything as that then you can go to save as preset you type in what preset that you want, you hit OK, and then it saves in there for you. And I'll show you that right now. So I want to change this. It's kind of flat. So once again, make sure it's highlighted. Go to your um, palette. Go to color correction again. So we saw all the presets. Now if you click on this drop down menu, you have custom. So this is where all the, where that custom one would have been saved. So I have all of these like Bright Drive. I don't know. Some of them are kind of funny name because of that. But this shot here is from a market video that I recently published. And I used my Nikon to film it. So I have this all ready to go. I click on it. And I like the way that looks. You see how much brighter more vibrant it is so I click OK now I'm I want to go to this one and I want it to match to this here so you can go to color match and it will match it to so I want it to match to this um, these are shot on the same camera so it'll be better to do that so I click match and it's matching matching bam it's matched so it looks okay it's a bit dark in here so what you can do is just kind of turn down the level of it so it won't be the exact same but it'll be very very close to it and did you see how it got brighter there that's because i changed down like i would have had some light differences in there but that's an easy way to deal with that here so then now the next thing i want to get into for enhancing your videos is um effects so there's some cool effects that wondershare filmora has that i really enjoy here we go so this one here is going to be a popular one that that so many people will use and it's the cinnabars the 21 by 9 cinnabars that changed the look of it so bam look at that it's so cinematic it's steven spielberg he'd be loving this and i mean there are a million different effects that you can use and these all also change the look of your film so oh i was in the market and then all of a sudden an uh, earthquake happened so we're just going along and Oh, look at hey let's let's go to mom's kitchen oh no let's not and then it gets all shaky and scary and stuff so i mean um it's actually kind of cool you can also turn down like the frequency so it's not quite as intense okay so those are just a couple of the effects that you have um the elements as well are really cool I have paid for some of the elements because I have so much fun using them, like lasers. Like pew, 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 pew. It's pretty amazing. I love all the different effects. There are some on here that I have used a bunch of times. There is a fire one that I can't seem to see. Uh, explosions. Yes, explosions are always cool. And then boom i've used this a couple times on different things and then if you want you go up to your audio and then you go to sound effect and then you bam throw in the atomic bomb huh? that's something isn't it 
So, I mean, it's just, it's kind of cool little, little fun little things like that, that make this software so cool and so fun to use. Really, I get a lot of joy out of using this, to be honest. And then another thing I'll show you quickly here that you can do. So something that will enhance your videos and make it better. Like you look at a bit of shake in that, right? It's, it's a little unstable and you don't want that. So you can come up here, go to video, go to stabilization and it's analyzing it right now. Analyze, analyze, beep, boop, bleep, bloop. And uh, it, it'll just take a bit of that shake out. It, what it won't do is correct if you're moving left to right or up or down or anything like that. So it's basically if you got like coffee hands, it'll take care of that. Try to stabilize your footage as much as possible. But if you have a little bit of shake like I had in there, it does take care of it. So there we go. We can watch this. Like it's, it's a bit smoother. So if you want the smooth level up and you see how it crops in, that's, that's what it does. That's how it digitally does that. So it's good to shoot in 4k. So once again, that side to side movement, that left to right, that was because I was moving, like moving myself. You're not going to be able to get rid of that sort of movement. It's more of the kind of jittery camera shake so anyways that's just a few things that you can do to enhance your videos quicker and easier also if you want a free trial of wondershare filmora check out my link in the description and if you like this click the me likey button if you haven't already and you want some more wondershare filmora tutorials or geocaching and adventure videos then subscribe and i will see you later yeah.